Hello guys, and this is the 10th video of the UDK Advanced series. Um, in this video, I'm going to go over uh, materials slightly more. In this video, I'm going to go into emissive materials. As you can see here, I've already got my specular and normal maps, uh, specular and normal maps set up from the previous tutorial. I haven't really, I may have moved stuff around and had to reset it up just because uh, I went to sleep last night and I didn't manage to save the package. So I had to spend a couple of minutes just setting it up again. So to start off with your missing materials, I'm just going to show you what one looks like. Uh, what my modeler usually calls the material is glow mask. Uh, it would usually be like E M uh, in if it's in like U D K. That's the naming prefix that I'd use anyway. Like E M a missing material. And the white areas are the bits that are going to be emissive, and the black is just going to be normal. It's going to look really cool with. Uh, specular map and stuff like that as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and drop that into UD, uh, UDK now. So I'm just going to uh, press T then click. I mean, there is one slight problem. If I just go ahead and take that straight into emissive, you s you're going to see that it only lights up slightly, and you really can't change the color that it lights up in, which is kind of a pain. So we need to multiply it but we don't want to multiply it in a way that it's all white still so I'm just gonna go and wait oh god yeah sorry sorry about that okay so I'm gonna go get my multipliers we did before in the specular material uh, see if I can find that and then I'm gonna hook that up into a missive as we did previously and then I'm going to hook up this black one into alpha, not alpha, but a, and then I'm going to go get my constraint, uh, constant. But this time we're not using the normal constant from variable. We're going to be using a free vector. What that is is it's a constant that you can play around with RGB colors in. So we don't have to be limited to just white lights on our objects. See so if I hook that up now. Uh, it's not going to be. Uh, emissive at all just because it's at zero 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 at the moment so let's say if I wanted to get a nice blue color I'm just having a guess what the RGB would be so let's go you know normal would be one 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 zero 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 if all the RGBs are the same it's just going to be standard white uh, sorry about that my PC went really slow, I had to clock my processor down due to heating issues. Yep, there we go. So now we've got that. As, since seeing as it's all one one one, it's all gone white and it's not very bright. So I'm just gonna go ahead and change this to blue. I'm guessing it's gonna be zero two fifty two fifty. You can change around with some of the values, multiply them a little bit, uh just to make it brighter in a way and as you can see now for sure that's really bright you can see from the green light where it hasn't changed yet and I can't really zoom in now but you can see this is pretty damn bright so if I just save that and drag that onto my weapon that I imported earlier you don't have to use a weapon I think there is a bunch of textures that you can use um, as a placeholder to use in this tutorial that comes with UDK but as you can see here, uh, I've got my specular up a little high and my emissive could be turned down a bit. Yeah, yeah well my emissive needs to be turned down just a little bit. So let's go do that now. And I just want to talk to you a little bit about multiplication and how you can change the values around so, it, so you still get the same outcome when it comes to colour. Uh, just give me a second to get this up and I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so let's go back to here. If I go and change this to 200 and 200, let's give that a second. Yeah, now I've changed that to a 200 by 200, it's still going to be uh, blue like it was. Even if I change it to 500 by 500, it's just 
trying to show how much uh, 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 red, blue, and green there is. So as long as the values are the same and I times them by, let's say, 10, you're still going to get the same color, just brighter. So you should be able to play around with some of the colors. There's a bunch of RGB generators on the internet that you can play around with on the internet so you can see which materials are good, which ones aren't, well not materials, sorry, which numbers are good, which ones aren't, and you can just times them by like 10, 5, whatever. As long as you're uh, uh, multiplying both numbers, you'll be, uh, well both or even all three numbers, you'll be fine. So I'm just going to turn down my specular and show you how much of a sexy beast of a weapon we've got here now. So I'm just going to change this down to something reasonable, like 80. Because 250 was just a little bit stupid. I know I didn't set that in the previous tutorials, so this is where I set it up, and I just quickly uh, just slammed my head on the keyboard and was like, done. And I'm just going to apply the changes to the weapon that you can see it in use in the viewport and as you can see here in the viewport now we've got a pretty sexy gun I mean I changed the layout just uh, not the layout sorry the map template just so you can see how well the lights light up and stuff like that so that's about all I wanted to show you in this video uh, comment like and subscribe and I need and I'll speak to you in the next video goodbye